In late May 2024, the Chinese government began to massively regulate e-bikes. To put it bluntly, the Chinese government is forcibly confiscating Chinese people's e-bikes. On May 23rd alone, nearly 300,000 e-bikes were removed from China. This video was shot in May 2024 and shows a girl crying as the traffic police confiscate her battery-operated bike. Her mom borrowed money to buy it for her when she first started working. This photo is believed to be taken in June or July 2023. A netizen wrote, Life is too difficult. They still want to create difficulties to make everyone's life even more difficult. When the traffic police check on the road, the delivery boy is forced to carry the battery bike on his shoulder. This is the tool of his survival. Towed away, there will be no source of livelihood. This video shows that on June 26, 2024, a delivery boy in Shai Men was stopped by the traffic police to confiscate his e-bike. The delivery boy began to smash the e-bike and angrily said to the traffic police, Take it if you want it. As reported by Shaiman locals, the traffic police confiscated the electric bikes and transported them to a remote electric bicycle cemetery off the island. To retrieve their property, owners are forced to pay for a car to bring the bike back to the island, incurring significant expenses. This unjust practice has led many delivery workers to forego paying the fine, unwilling to bear the burden of these costs. Netizens commented on the situation. The Communist Party is in power, and this is the way it bullies the people, forcing the laborers' livelihoods to the brink of extinction. This kind of management is not a service to the people, but a naked exploitation and oppression of the grassroots. Whenever such a situation arises, half a month's work is wasted. Whoever is faced with such a thing will be mad. Others said, Why don't they shut down the manufacturers of the electric bicycles? They are not allowed to use the roads, and they know that the grassroots need this tool to make a living. But they have to drive them to extinction, causing public anger. I don't know what's in the minds of the policymakers. This picture was taken in July 2017. When this young man saw the law enforcement officers confiscating his electric bike, he picked up a big stone and smashed it. He also said he smashed it himself instead of giving it to the bandits. This video shows a middle-aged man delivering food, screaming in fear when he sees the traffic police. Then, panicking, he pushes the e-bike to rush away. <laughs> A netizen said, The delivery boys are as scared as ghosts when they see the CCP police. Once caught, the motorcycle was confiscated, and he was fined $276. On April 11, 2024, a fellow user of a social media platform shared a personal experience. On my way back after I finished the Subject 1 test, which I passed successfully, I witnessed the traffic police confiscating e-bikes, a truck full of e-bikes. This made me realize that we need to address the root of the problem, the manufacturers. We should not allow the production of non-compliant e-bikes rather than wait until the streets are full of non-standard e-bikes and let the grassroots pay the bill. This is not the way to go, confiscate and fine. Netizens have voiced a range of diverse opinions on this issue. Some said, The speed limit for e-bikes is 20 kilometers. Based on that standard, most manufacturers' products are substandard and should be penalized at source. Some also said, If we have to catch the manufacturers, who will solve the problem of employment, social security and tax revenue? Production enterprises are the local taxpayers who cannot be moved, instead to support them. And others said, Production manufacturers are indeed related to the government and they cannot be moved. Those who ride e-bikes are the middle or lower classes. Even if confiscated or fined, it's okay. This video shows that in July 2023, traffic police in Harbin City, Heilongjiang Province detained three bikes belonging to delivery workers. 
I don't wear a helmet, I don't wear anything, and the police don't arrest me. They specialize in catching food delivery people. This is the Harbin traffic police. This is not letting the people live. The man who took the video said that the man riding the scooter who passed by the traffic police was not wearing a helmet, and the traffic police did nothing to him. But the traffic police arrested them, those delivery people with complete documents. This video shows that because the traffic police prohibited delivery personnel from riding electric bicycles, this delivery boy rode a bike to deliver food. I don't know if the takeout can be delivered to customers in time. This video shows that the traffic police stopped the delivery boy and used a scale to weigh his battery car to see if it was overweight. <laughs> if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I would never believe it. As early as a few years ago, the Chinese government confiscated e-bikes forcibly. This video was filmed in April 2021. A netizen posted, repeatedly making money from the survival tools of the people at the bottom. A tricycle will be confiscated today and an electric bike will be confiscated tomorrow. Some netizens said, manufacturers can produce it, merchants can sell it, and gas stations can sell oil to you, but if you use it, it's illegal. In recent years, traffic police in many places in China have cracked down on e-bikes under traffic safety. Thousands of owners have been fined and even had their e-bicycles confiscated. However, e-bikes are a means of transportation for ordinary people and a means of livelihood for delivery guys. When their e-bikes were forcibly seized, many people were forced to kneel to the traffic police. This video was taken in July 2024. According to the voice in the video, the child was riding a scooter to school for an exam and was stopped by the traffic police. Perhaps because he had to take an exam, the child didn't bring his mobile phone and probably didn't have much money on him. He knelt to the traffic police many times and begged them to return the scooter. The student was very anxious and kept trying to explain, but the police were not convinced by the student's kneeling. I wonder whether you are aiming for fines or whether you take the safety of the people as your responsibility. Can anything be given a green light under particular circumstances? He didn't commit any big crime, so couldn't he let the child take the exam first? This video was shot on November 27, 2023 in Hangzhou, Zhejiang. This delivery boy ran a red light and was stopped by the traffic police. The young man knelt and begged for mercy, trying to get the scooter back, but to no avail. He finally broke down and kicked the scooter over, crying and shouting, I'm not living anymore. <laughs> This video was shot in August 2021. After a delivery boy's battery bike was towed away, he lost control of his emotions. He knelt down and kept kowtowing to the traffic police and begged them to return the bike. <laughs> This video was taken in May 2020, when a traffic police officer confiscated a delivery boy's battery-operated bike. He was kneeling helplessly on the ground with a crowd of people watching. A netizen posted, The electric bike was towed and the delivery boy knelt down. The man's knees have gold. Why is he kneeling? His family has old parents, young children, and a wife. A battery-operated bike is not worth much to you, but it's the rice bowl for his family to fill. This picture was taken in August 2019. A netizen from X posted, This farmworker brother's electric bike was confiscated. He couldn't bear to part with the two anti-theft locks. The skinny figure, cheap helmet, melancholy expression, and sad eyes make people feel very sad. He wanted to prevent theft, but he didn't know who the thief was. What he encountered was robbery disguised as legality. These two pictures show the traffic police gathering confiscated e-bikes in an open space. Some people may ask what the traffic police around China will do with these e-bikes after confiscating them. They collect them all in one place and then destroy them. In January 2024, a netizen wrote, The legally purchased electric vehicles of the people were confiscated and centrally destroyed. The government organized a grand destruction ceremony as if it feared the world would not know its evil deeds. 
Many people rely on electric bikes to make a living, such as delivering couriers and takeaways, but the government has ruthlessly smashed their rice bowls. As with the ban on motorcycles in the past, the manufacturers and sellers of e-bikes have done nothing but continue to produce and sell them, and the government is only targeting the people at the bottom. These two pictures show the so-called destruction ceremony. On April 10, 2019, an internet user posted, What is the motivation for the mass destruction of e-bikes? The e-bikes are legally purchased and sold. The whole process has been under government supervision and approval, and all kinds of taxes and fees are not less than a penny. However, how did it become illegal for people to use them? There are many interceptions, mandatory fines, confiscation, and the massive destruction of snatched electric bikes, many of which are almost new. Is this thinking and governance rare in the world? Is it a disguised way to promote sales? A way to encourage taxation? The video below the post shows a parking lot full of e-bikes that traffic police have forcibly confiscated. The Chinese government has been forcibly confiscating people's e-bikes over the years, but has not banned manufacturers from producing them. There must be a purpose behind this. This video shows that after the Chinese government confiscated people's e-bikes, it launched shared e-bikes for a fee, but the people resisted. The video shows people throwing brand new e-bikes into the river and scratching many brand new shared electric bike seats. After the price of e-bikes was adjusted, businesses in various places produced many shared e-bikes. However, many brand new shared e-bikes were deliberately pushed to the ground or secretly thrown into ponds. Since July 1, 2023, Guangdong province officials have issued new rules for e-bikes. These rules include children taller than 120 centimeters not being carried, no rearview mirrors, safety helmets required, and license plates required, and the speed limit of 25 kilometers per hour. If a person fails to comply, they will be penalized. Faced with these government regulations, young people in Guangzhou have begun demonstrating. From July 2023 onwards, many young people traveling in electric wheelchairs have appeared on the streets of Guangzhou. If you drive to work, the road is jammed, and you're not allowed to ride an e-bike, so we're just going to open up the idea of getting an electric wheelchair to get around. In June 2024, some netizens also sent out funny videos. That's okay, we didn't get the wool from the sheep, so the human-powered tricycles came out first. Overnight, I felt like I was back before the founding of the Communist Party of China. Next, there were rickshaws and trolleys. This time, it was good. It was environmentally friendly, and there was no need to worry about the rechargeable batteries burning. On June 17, 2024, a netizen posted, Chinese civilians cannot afford cars, motorcycles have been banned, electric bikes have been confiscated by the traffic police, and shared electric bikes cannot take people. Fortunately, my father left me an old bike, which is still here. The problem of picking up the twins from school has been solved. This video expresses the sentiments of the Chinese people. We can't afford school, but they don't worry. We can't buy a house, but they don't worry. We can't afford medical treatment, but they don't worry. We can't afford to raise children, but they still don't worry. We are old and homeless, but they still don't worry. We were riding a regular e-bike and they started to worry about our safety. Do you think this is funny or not? According to Chinese official media, a nationwide inspection operation was launched in May 2024 to investigate and deal with the so-called non-compliance with new standards and illegal parking and charging of e-bikes. Chinese people buy e-bikes through formal channels, but now the Chinese police say that these e-bikes do not meet the standards. Chinese people at home and abroad find it strange to see the Chinese government cracking down on e-bikes. Because all local governments of the Communist Party of China allow manufacturers to produce e-bikes, China's traffic regulations do not allow e-bikes to be on the road. Electric scooters will continue to be produced, driven by economic interests. The Beijing authorities do not like this kind of scooter. They think it affects the city's appearance, makes a lot of noise, and looks unattractive. So they are unwilling to make it too popular. However, the CCP does not ban the production of e-bikes. To put it bluntly, the CCP does everything for profit. Lin Sheng Liang, a Shenzhen dissident, told overseas Chinese media that e-bikes are convenient for many Chinese migrant workers or parents who pick up and drop off their children. Their e-bikes can be charged at home and ready to go without blocking traffic. However, this is outside the interests of those in power, and even if something is helpful to the people, they keep it from happening. When e-bikes first came out, the Chinese government supported them. 
Later, they felt that the proliferation of e-bikes had affected the interests of some people. The key reason was that the government was unable to tax e-bikes. He pointed out, there was a lot of filth behind regulating e-bikes. Everything revolves around interests and political tasks. Some Chinese netizens said, the reason for producing e-bikes is that companies can pay taxes after they produce them, and it can also help workers earn wages. But they don't like you to use them, because e-bikes are too cheap and don't use as much fuel as cars. The fuel consumption and parking fees of cars insurance are very profitable. What the Chinese government cares about is not the convenience of ordinary people's lives, but the government's taxation issues. Especially in the context of China's economic downturn in recent years, the Chinese government is trying to find ways to gain benefits from ordinary people as the starting point for decision making. That's it for today. Please like, subscribe, leave a message, and share it with your friends. We appreciate your support. See you next time.